hearing a lot about 3D printers lately because what they do is pretty darn amazing. It's incredible. Ty Owen is here from Coastside this morning and brought a 3D printer along to show us how they work. Now let's just start with for anybody who's not familiar with this, what is 3D printing? Okay, so if we think about manufacturing in general, right? Most manufacturing is, is subtractive, meaning we take a piece of wood or we take a piece of metal and we take away from it. We cut pieces away to it to get to what we want, right? right? Michelangelo, Three, finding the art yeah, inside. Yeah, sculpting, right? right? Okay. 3D printing is the opposite of that. We start with nothing and we build up only to exactly what we want. And the process right. is, is pretty simple, right? We've got our machine running over here. Uh, this machine is an IC3D machine made right here in Columbus, Ohio. Oh, wow. Um, and it uses filament. Filament is basically ABS plastic made into long strips. It's Isn't what? that, that kind of... It can come in all kinds of different colors. Is that what you do for weed whackers? It's, it's a stuff. lot like That's weed whackers string. Like. The same process yeah. to make it a little bit different plastic. Uh -huh. But what it does is it takes that filament, pushes it down through here. There's a gear that pushes this down. And the nozzle heats up to about 230 degrees Celsius. Wow. Translate that for us. Uh, a lot of Fahrenheit. Hot. Hot. <laughs> yes. Very, very right. hot, okay. right? Uh, and you a computer basically takes a 3D model, mm -hmm. breaks it up into individual layers, and then what the 3D printer does, you can see it moving around on, on both the X and Y axis this way right. and, and that way, and uh, it prints it out layer by layer by layer, oh. one on top of the other until you have your final model. The easiest way to think about it is like a computer controlled hot glue gun, right? The glue right. gun, the glue stick would be your filament, the glue gun nozzle would be your same nozzle on there, right. but instead of having, you know, your hand have to craft it, a computer can make really precise models. So it's literally putting down one layer and then another layer and, and then another layer, layer another layer, layer, layer so you finally have a thing all the way up yeah so what we're building right now is actually this little model of cosi uh, that we've modeled and uh, to get the detail that uh -huh. you have in this this is actually about 43 different layers here each one about 0.2 millimeters now, thick. It, hold that really mm -hmm. still and you can actually see this is this is the building mm -hmm. we've got our front, our front cylinder right here and even on the back side you can see we've got our courtyard models uh, and this is right where the new planetarium be front doors would be right about there yeah tip that up a little bit mm -hmm. so we can actually see see where that is and it just yeah. made it all so that's 40 some odd what does it take to do something that, look at i mean that's really tall hundreds and hundreds of layers but you know even though it seems like it might take a while printing something like this might take an hour and a half compared to years ago where you would have to make a 3d model you'd have to send it out to a company you'd have to wait two or three weeks and cross your fingers and hope that it would come back and would look right now, you know, for a relatively small amount of money, you can have this setting on your desk at home, you right by your computer, and print out anything that you have in, in your mind. I'm amazed at the medical implications of this, too. Yeah. And I just saw, did you see the woman mm -hmm. that got the jawbone made yeah. for her? It yeah, was and, amazing. And, and we're actually working on, on a prosthetic hand project uh, based on Project Open Hand inside oh, yeah. of Cosi's teen space that we just opened. So if you don't have access to one of these, Cosi's has these out for teens uh, Wednesdays from 3 to 7, Saturdays 10 to 5. It's totally free and we're working on uh, printing a prosthetic hand right now. Look what it's doing. It's actually, it's doing you're doing the inside. We're doing an inside. So instead of making it totally solid, we've uh, set a honeycomb pattern inside of there. Uh, it'll save a lot of filament as it prints and increase that print space and the computer just by adjusting a number will know how much uh, infill is what we're talking about, that solid oh. inside to put and in there. Th is that cool, the moment that it's printed? Does it take a while? Well, uh, pretty much the moment it's printed, it's, it's, it's pretty cool by the time mm -hmm. it hits the next layer. That bed on there heats up to about 120 degrees. The bed's the flat plate mm -hmm. here. So that's really warm. That helps it stick. But basically by the time you've got you know, two layers on top of each other. It's relatively cool. So you're looking at, there are medical implications for this kind of thing because you could literally build bone, new bones mm -hmm. from, from the, from if you had nothing. The, if you had the right material, there's food implications. You can print food in chocolate. What would you, in chocolate? Yeah, yeah chocolate printers this? or sugar-based printers totally uh -huh. uh, exist. So if you want to make a really ornate shape and then fill it full of some delicious sugary goodness, wow. you could create that shape on yeah. there. And there are tons of people experimenting with all of these different ideas. Last night I was at the Columbus Idea Foundry for their 3D printer meetup. It mm -hmm. happens the second Wednesday of each month, and uh, there are about 40 people there who all have all of these fantastic ideas about oh. 3D printing. So if anyone's interested, it's a really a great welcome open house uh, to come in and try out some of these ideas. And the great thing with these is, if you don't like the way something works, you can print a new part and change it. These parts are, are brand new parts for one of our MakerBot printers to move the filament up top. And uh, even yesterday, I printed. Wait, so you, you printed your own part to fix your printer? To improve my printer, right? There's nothing That's wrong with it, but awesome. I, I liked it. And we've even printed these little parts that'll uh, we'll put a sponge in here, and as that filament comes down, it'll wipe any dust that might be on those off because I think that that might help my print quality. Do you sleep at night? Because you must be so excited about.
Not very much. Uh, as, as my wife can attest, I'm, I'm pretty much up staring in front of the computer trying to design new things and, and print new things. These it's toys so are cool. absolutely fascinating. That's it fun. is. Really, Ty, thank really you so neat. much. We appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me. Always a good time when Kosai is here. Thank you. And it's not even 10 in the morning. We were having a lot of fun, but for Dana, it's time to talk lunch this early. Coming up next, he's going to check out another delicious food truck that's down at the Columbus Commons downtown and trying to stay dry. A little bit. Hiding in the bathroom.